was wandering in the street and some of the boys saw me and gradually they came to me and uh, actually I did not try anything for developing this institution. The boys did it. Yeah. They are all educated, they are not fools. Mr. Howard is MA. He is also BA. Yeah. And he is doctor, PhD. So they are all educated. So they are not fools that they are taking this uh, blindly, you know. Most of my students, they were <laughs> under the spell of this LSD. <laughs> but uh, they are given up everything. They are simply living on this chapati and some proofs and that's all. They don't want, they don't eat meat, they don't want uh, wine, they don't want cigarettes, they don't want tea, coffee, nothing. And they are chanting Hare Krishna, they are following my instruction. So I am getting good hope. Swamiji is eating upstairs? Yes. Yeah. He was composed of rice and this the soup which we call dal and a combination of vegetables and the chapati, which is made out of whole wheat. You see, it's all vegetable and grain. Some there's some fruit, there's fruit in the dal. No meat, no animal product, it's just egg. This is because uh, in the Gita, Krishna has told us what he wants us to eat, namely fresh fruits and grains. Not animal products. And so uh, we have a very delicious meal here. It's very cheap. Uh, it goes a long way. It's quite easy to prepare. And we have a lot of fun. Well, essentially, this, these are foods that are prescribed uh, according to Orthodox uh, uh, Vaishnavite uh, uh, discipline. You know? So uh, these foods are prescribed. But we don't necessarily prescribe them for everybody. The main thing is no meat, fish, and eggs. <laughs> not to eat? No, no right. meat, fish, and eggs. Right. Why not? Well, because in, in the, uh, the scriptures it states that uh, certain foods uh, Krishna will accept. So we have to offer our food to Krishna. We have to offer the food that he'll accept. The food that he'll accept is stated as uh, vegetables, fruits, uh, leaves, uh, water. We, well, we believe that vegetables have uh, also any any living any life form has a soul, and therefore the murder of a vegetable is not in, in any way different qualitatively from the murder of an animal. But the thing is that uh, vegetables are our allotment according to scripture. We can eat certain foods that are given to us to eat by God. If we eat food that's not given to us to eat, that's that's robbery. Are there any tasks that you have to perform? Well, we're, we're, there's no, there's no real task. The only, we're here to learn. And that's what we're doing, and we also, uh, we have jobs to perform to keep the organization running, to keep yeah. the word of Krishna being spread. How do you do that? Well, we uh, recently purchased a couple of mimeograph machines, and that's helping our printing by word of mouth, uh, by constantly being active. Mm -hmm. Do you work? Yeah, we all work. Yeah. It's just kind of like, you, but you you meet there every day. So. Well, I'm I'm devoting all my time here, so I work here all day. Okay. Uh, money has to come in also. Some of us work regular jobs and devote most of our money here, mm -hmm. if not all. Do you feel any different from you too? Uh, I feel very good and uh, closer to God. What introduced you to this group? A friend of mine told me about Love Celebration at Compton Square Park, which was last Thursday, or the Thursday before last. Oh. And uh, I had been, I knew I had been seeking a guru for a while, so Krishna sent me there and I was there. and. Uh, after meeting some of the initiates, I knew that, that that the Swami really had to be into something. So I came the very next morning, mm -hmm. and I've been here since then. I came here in America in uh, September 1965. Uh, my mission is to preach 
the philosophy of Lord Chaitanya, chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. This transcendental vibration will cleanse the dirty things of the mind. It doesn't matter what he is. Uh, this transcendental vibration is equally appealing to everyone without any question of language, uh, nationality, creed or caste, because it is coming forth from the depth of the soul. This simple vibration can deliver the people of this age to salvation. Human life is meant for getting out of the threefold miseries of this material existence and forgetting their life's aim. They have become too much materialistic. And the result is that actually they haven't got that peace and of mind or peace of the world which they are anchoring. And if they take to these chanting, transcendental vibration, their mind, the darkness of the mind will be clear and they can clearly see uh, their actual identity as part and parcel of the Supreme Lord or Krishna and dovetailing their activities in that relationship, everything will be uh, sublime. I think uh, how we're different from uh, drunk people also is uh, to realize that uh, God is here and in my heart and all over all the time, but we, we're realizing this consciously. To know these things consciously, not just to accept it once and then enjoy. To know this moment to moment. Well, I've, I've only tried marijuana, but I've never taken anything else. You might say I was fortunate enough to have my self-realizations and other changes without drugs. Perhaps Leary and, and some of the drug followers, they are, are functioning, functioning high on a low level, and we are functioning high, and we are functioning low on a high level. Can you get that? They're functioning high. They're, 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 they're this feeling, this is this sensual perception, which is is uh, extended so far, but uh, they're enjoying the foods and they're enjoying their their incense and the colors and all these things. This anybody can do. And we we are not enjoying these things, but we are functioning on this high level, on a level of God. Well, we must consider ourselves as the gopis, uh, so that we can love. Krishna that much more, that we devote our whole lives to Krishna, and we are, we must consider ourselves as females, you see. But, uh, let's be careful. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, it takes many, many lifetimes of perfection yes, to get yes. to be a gopi. Yes. One has to be the supremely developed, perfect in perfection to be uh, able to qualify as a gopi. Anyway, this, is, this is the, the ultimate. Re- but the reason that one of the people mentioned before that being feminine is that when you, the masculine love and the feminine are love and that to be, you are feminine so that you can be loved by Krishna. Well, does this have anything to do with being celibate or... This has, this has to do with... Or that the supreme being, of course, is male because he is Purusha, as they say in Sanskrit. That is, he is the origin, he is the creator. He is the, the seed, uh, uh, he plants the seed in the material universe of which we are the result. Therefore, we are the feminine, yeah. this is not the whole material, material creation. Well, he is the Supreme Father. That has nothing to do with it. Yeah. Uh, you, I may be, not be, I may not be. This has, this has nothing to do with it. I just came in, and uh, I was tired, and they said, if you're tired, go to sleep, lay down here. You mean it's the first day? Uh-huh. And this is your first chanting session? Yeah, this is the first, first time I've been into it at all. Uh, I came about the 1st of August. 
Uh, Ray was here a little earlier, I believe. I can't remember the forms. And then others, of course, have come within the last week. <laughs> <laughs> right. But one, 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 one thing which usually happens, uh, those who come like this, they come and they just never go. Once you come, you stay. Because the Swami has something which uh, you were looking for. Yeah. The, the first thing they did for us was give us our method of chanting, which is so powerful yeah. method that it will work for anyone. In other words, you don't need to be uh, the one person in a million who can really be successful in meditation yoga, uh, where you have to spend years at that discipline without getting any place, and then finally... Uh, achieve it. Uh, our method is so powerful that it will work for anyone in two days. Should I bow down when I don't feel anything? Should I say these words when I don't feel anything? He says, yes, because this is a training. You see, you want to train yourself. And this is the most important. And then you'll gradually just fall right into it if you work hard at it. You, uh, you must go you must practice, and this is the main thing, and then you'll become entrapped in it. So how about now? Do you feel silly? Oh, excuse me? Do you feel uh, uncomfortable? Back? Oh, no. I, I, I see all this practicing and work was... It, it just had to be done in order to where I am now. Anyone who chants Hare Krishna... Ha, have you got the whole chant? That's uh, a special evocation, just the same as we're all sitting here, but if I call Stanley, that's not the same as calling you. But if I call your name, then, then that's, that shows my attention is riveted on you. So by riveting our attention on Krishna, we uh, are able to use his name. In other words, if, you, if, you, if I meditated on the word Raymond, 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 that wouldn't be the same at all. The word Krishna is God. The word Raymond, you know, at least to my house, I said the word Raymond, is <laughs> not. Well, you have to concentrate on the words. You have to be sincere with the words. Uh, you have to s surrender yourself to these words. And through this, this takes practice. It's not done in one session. This takes time. It took me maybe four sessions before I uh, began to even chant. You see? What happens when you do chant, when you're in it? Well, that's hard to explain. Each, I guess each person has a different reaction, but you just seem to open up. It seems, it seems as something flies out, uh, flies out of you. It, it's like a, it's, it's like a door opens. It slowly opens, so finally it's open, and then you walk into the unknown. But the unknown is beautiful. This unknown. Well, you have every muscle of your body engaged in, in the in the exercise. You you you're you're singing. You're dancing. Your mind is fully engaged in thinking about God. What more can there be? This is the full aim of any kind of yoga. It's to it's to concentrate the energy to a point. And in this kirtan, your energy is concentrated on one point. God, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. What more could you want?